On Friday night, Sheikh Yassim bin Hamad Al Thani submitted a final offer of more than £5 billion for Manchester United, promising additional investment for players and infrastructure. The proposal, which arrived in New York just before the deadline of 10 p.m., included what would be a record-breaking sum to purchase the Premier League powerhouse. But in a significant and unexpected power move, it also committed to providing more capital and a sum that would be used to renovate Old Trafford or build a new stadium, as well as upgrade United's training facility. The Glazer family, who control the club, are rumored to be asking for £6 billion, but the Qatari offer fell far short. The Glazers and all other shareholders would be purchased out by Sheikh Yassim, who wants a 100% ownership stake in the team. According to sources who know the process, the offer is an improvement over his earlier proposal. Still, he won't pay anything close to £6 billion and is keen not to overpay. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is the primary opponent of Sheikh Yassim at United. The British billionaire aims for a controlling position of more than 50%, but his proposal contains a clause that would let Joel and Avram Glazer, two of the company's founders, keep their 20% holding. That is an aggressive move that, should it be successful, would enrage significant portions of United's fan base. The Glazers placed the club for sale in November, but it isn't a significant bidding battle involving many parties materialized. Numerous organizations, including U.S. financial behemoth Scar Lyle and Elliott, have made investment offers in exchange for a portion of the company. The New York Merchant Bank overseeing the process, Rain Group, asked the candidates for more details earlier this week. The source of the bidder's riches and the identity of the prospective purchaser were both sought after details. Additionally, future financial plans were requested. Before any Premier League testing, the actions are considered preventative. However, it is unlikely that Shiku Sim's offer would run into any problems due to concerns about state ownership, given the right of Newcastle United and Manchester City. Before Sunday's game against Aston Villa at Old Trafford, supporters organize a demonstration against the Glazers. They will demand that the hated Americans supervise a total sale of United rather than considering any alternative course of action. The NFL's Washington Commanders were agreed to be sold earlier this month for $6 million or £4.77 billion.